Hello everyone. In the previous video, I did a range test with the Paranafi, and what I found out was I could only do 1.2 kilometers distance away from the beach over the sea. It didn't matter if I went high or if I was at 50 or 100 meters in altitude, it still had the same thing. So I checked some of the, the metadata on the files and checked the flight logs. The drone was operating at five gigahertz for some reason. So what I'm going to do now is try another test, set it in manual to 2.4 gigahertz and see if that makes a difference so this is a second comparison I would say a 5 gigahertz range test in the previous video versus in this video 2.4 gigahertz all right let's go So I honestly didn't expect it to go that far. I had to turn around one time and check if my RTH would get the drone facing back if it didn't uh, before I lost connection. So that was a good check. I do encourage you to try and check that. Just tap on RTH. If the drone turns back to where you are, then you know that it's marked the home point because when I took off, I didn't see my little mini map. I think I changed some settings last night. So going through all my research and my mini map didn't come up anymore. So I had to double check before I actually lost connection and the drone automatically RTH. That aside, the distance was due to the frequency. So five gigahertz has larger bandwidth meaning it can transmit a lot more data, but it doesn't have as much penetration as 2.4 gigahertz, whereas in terms of distance, uh, whereas 2.4 gigahertz can go the distance, but the bandwidth is lower than five gigahertz. So a lot of FPV people uses five gigahertz because uh, you get a lot uh, lower latency and uh, clearer images. I think for this application, 2.4 gigahertz was, was a kicker. And the problem that I had was I, what I think, I don't know for sure, but what I think is because of all the resorts and everything uh, close to the beach, there's a lot of the entire buildings filled with the uh, Wi-Fi and they're all 2.4 gigahertz. So that's broadcasting on the beach and drone uh, SSID did a spectrum analysis and then hopped over to 5 gigahertz because that's what it's supposed to do. Find the, the least conge congested channel and hop to that and use that to give you the best signal strength. But when it went out, it didn't hop back to 2.4 gigahertz. So in order to fix that, I went into manual and set it to 2.4 gigahertz in manual so it would not hop channels. And then I sent it out for the test. So the entire flight was on 2.4 gigahertz and those are the results. So 
the previous video is 5 gigahertz and this video is 2.4 gigahertz and the the range is just miles apart so i hope you can take something from this and if you're having problems with your transmission in urban areas of course if there's a congestion of 2.4 gigahertz 5 gigahertz would work better but in this instance where when you're flying out into um, the ocean into the middle of nowhere where there's no 2.4 gigahertz congestion in the air 2.4 gigahertz would actually work better than 5 gigahertz so if you like this video and if i've helped you in some way please give me a thumbs up it helps the video it helps my channel and i'll see you on the next one ciao